This is a really good one. Great way to stay poor is do what everyone else is doing, right? Because if you're doing what everyone else is doing, most people are not in the 1%. If you want to be in the 1%, you can't do what 99% of people are doing, which is hard for people, which is why you can't value their opinions. Because again, talking to poor people about how to get rich is a great way to stay poor, right? They have no idea. And so you can't look for their approval on what you are doing or model what everyone else is doing because everyone else is poor. Why model them, right? Think about it. Number 19, do your best, not what it takes. Because the reality is a lot of times your best may suck. And what is required is what is required. And that may be beyond you, which means you must become better so that your best is beyond what is required. Because the number of people who say, well, I tried my best. The universe doesn't give a shit. The marketplace doesn't give a shit. Your boss doesn't give a shit. What they care about is what is required. And so what you have to do is figure out what is required. And then if you are incapable of doing it, be better and do it for long enough that it would be unreasonable for you not to be good. And then your best will surpass what is required and you will become better in the process. But if you don't do that, it's an excellent way to stay poor. It's just keep doing your best and giving yourself a pat on the back and say, I tried. 20, talk more, do less. Post about your goals, post about your affirmations, spend all day doing routines and stuff of getting prepared to work and actually do very little. All right, it's a great way. This is one of the favorite ones, especially in the, the internet community. People love talking about how much they're working rather than actually getting shit done. So I would advise you, to rather than spend all this time preparing to work and creating superstitions and routines around the things that you think you should do in order to maybe potentially get something done, start with the doing. Because sometimes the doing just needs done. All right, 21, start something new today. Start something new tomorrow, repeat. Great way to stay poor. Do stuff, try something, try something else, try something else, try something else. Always b leave half-built bridges, right? You never complete anything you start. Just keep starting new things because it's exciting and it's new and you have what is called uninformed optimism. Because as soon as you jump into the new thing, you realize that it will take work and the things that were awesome about it also have downsides, which is the work that is required to be good. And as soon as you realize that it's work, you go through the change cycle where you go uninformed optimism to informed pessimism. And then you go through the valley of despair and this is where everyone then jumps to the next opportunity. And they just do this forever and they just never achieve what they want. So it's an excellent way to stay busy and poor. All right, just keep trying new stuff and never see anything through, okay? Number 22, believe what other people think about you more than what you think about you. All right, it's a great way to stay poor. I think it's just, it's, it's easily stated there so I'm not gonna belabor the point, but that's what you need to do to stay poor. Just keep believing what everyone else thinks about you and not what you think about you. Excellent way to do it. Number 23, way to stay poor. Make a mistake, then wait, repeat the mistake. Do it again and again and again. And you've probably seen people who stay stuck in their life like this. Like they keep dating the same person. They keep making the same business mistake. They keep getting the same bad partnerships, whatever, right? Or they keep trying to do something that stopped working and they keep doing it over and over again because they think that for some reason that's gonna work somehow. Or they just don't have the wherewithal to realize that they keep making the same mistake. And so if you keep doing the same stuff, you're gonna keep getting the same outcomes, right? Like we kind of know this, but the thing is, is that people still do it. It's like, well, whatever you're doing right now has gotten you to being poor. So don't do that, right? And when I say poor, poor can be whatever you want it to be. You could be a billionaire and be poor. It might be whatever, whatever that amount is, it's not as much as you want it to be, right? Which of course gets into the deep things of like, maybe you should decide not to want it to begin with and then whatever, we won't get into that. Number 24, be replaceable, all right? This is a great way to stay poor because if, and I heard this from Navarro, I kind of like it a lot, which is if you can, if you can get a degree to do the job, you're never gonna become wealthy doing it because everyone can do it, right? And so you have to be able to learn things that other people can't do, right? And that therein makes you irreplaceable or less replaceable, right? At the very least, less replaceable. You don't wanna be replaceable by a marketplace of people lined up behind you, ready to take your job and do it for less, all right? Because they're also poor and they are willing to do it for less, which is a terrible way to do business. It's also an excellent way to stay poor though. Do what everyone else is doing, do it for less, unless you have an operational strategy, which is, you know, like Walmart and whatever. And that's probably not you right now. 